Hi again, Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Premier Elements. And here we are in part four of our eight-part series, Basic Training with Premier Elements. Now, once we've assembled some video on our timeline, we quite often want to add some transitions between the video clips. Transitions kind of transition us from one thought or from one scene to another. Your transitions are located over here on the right. On the toolbar, about halfway down is the transitions panel. A lot of great transitions, something I think like 80 different transitions in a number of categories. Some of them very simple, like a dissolve, some of them very showy, and some special effects even. Let's choose a simple wipe, and I'm gonna grab a checkerboard wipe and drag it down between two clips on the timeline. Right there. You notice when I do add the transition that I get a transition adjustments panel that opens up. You can reopen that transition adjustments panel at any time by double clicking on the transition. On the front page here, you can set the duration of the transition. I'm gonna set it to two seconds just because I'm gonna demonstrate something in a minute. If you click on the more button, there are often some other customization options for you if you scroll down. Now let's take a look at that transition. I'm just going to move the playhead right onto the transition so you can see what's going on. This is called a checkerboard transition and you can see what's going on is that the old clip is being replaced by the new clip by way of a little bitty checkerboard, right? Boop, boop, boop. Kind of a cool little transition. We can choose whether or not those checkered squares have a border on them. I'm just going to click and drag across that so you can see what that looks like. Set that back to zero choose the color for that border we can reverse it so that rather than the checkers representing the introduction of the new clip the checkers will represent the disappearing of the old clip in some effects that's a little more obvious so if there's a clockwise wipe reversing it will make it go counterclockwise some of these transitions also have customization options and if you click on custom you can set for instance the number of checkers in this case so it's eight by six right now we can make it if we wanted, I don't know what the maximum is. Let's try 32 by 32, just to see what it looks like. And you can see that gives you quite a few little squares in there. So you can do some fun transitions. Click on apply just to shut that. And if you wanna replace one with another, you simply just drag a new transition onto the old. Now we have a little bit of a problem here that may not be immediately apparent but I'm just gonna remove the transition by selecting it and deleting it. You notice in the upper right of this clip and in the upper left of this clip, you see a little heel, sort of a little triangle in the upper corner. That indicates that the clip is completely unspooled. Nothing has been trimmed from it. Well, we have a problem. When we add our two second transition, there's going to be a second before this clip when both clips are on screen at the same time. And there's going to be a second after this clip ends when both clips are on screen at the same time. That can be a problem because there's not extra footage beyond this end point or beyond this beginning point for the program to create the transition. So what happens? Let me just grab the radial wipe and drag it on there. We'll make it into a two second transition. When there is not that extra footage called head and tail material, what you get is a freeze frame. So when we get here to the beginning of this transition, it may not be immediately obvious, but the incoming clip is frozen. Once we get to this end point, the outgoing clip is frozen. Now in this case, there wasn't a lot of movement in here, so it may not be immediately apparent, but let's try it one more time at the next clip. We'll make it into a three second transition and you can see that like Eric here is just frozen until we get to the beginning of his clip and then he starts moving same thing with the outgoing clip the people walking are just frozen until the transition completes what can you do about that and the answer is add head and tail material so I'm just going to remove those transitions and I'm just going to peel back or trim off just a little bit just about a second from each clip. That now gives us extra footage beyond the beginning, beyond the end, to allow for head and tail material for our transition. So now when I add the transition, even if I make it three seconds, you notice there is never a point where the video is frozen. There is action throughout the entire transition. 
Just something to be aware of as you work with transitions in Premier Elements.